Hello, Ray Phoenix here. Welcome to Let's Play Lego Star Wars 2 Story Mode Part 5. This time around, we're going to the Death Star. We're going to rescue Princess Leia, that hot princess that got abducted by Darth Vader in the first episode of this Let's Play. We're on our way to Alderaan, but oh look, there's trash everywhere, there's junk everywhere, and Chewbacca's crying like a sissy, and then we get shot by the TIE Fighter. And Han Solo's all annoyed because he might not get his pay, so he's going to whip Chewbacca silly for being a sissy, and he's going to show us, look, it's that thing. That's no moon. It's a trap. Oh wait, it's the wrong movie. Oh wait, it's a Death Star. It's an invisible hand has reached out and grabbed onto us. And now we're being pulled into the, the main hangar of Death Star. Darth Vader's coming to see us there. Oh look, Darth Vader's like, sir, go up there and look in there. Go see what's up in there. Then pow, wham, wham, choop, choop. Let's see, we steal, we steal there. We steal our costumes. You see our Stormtrooper costumes. They're like, hey, everything's cool. Yeah, right? Or, but Darth Vader senses something. He senses Obi-Wan is present with us. But he doesn't care. He just shrugs it off like, eh, it's nothing. It's probably nothing. So we're just going to head over to the elevator, get into our own room, and voila, here we are. So, we see there's stuff. So, as you see, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo are disguised as Stormtroopers. They're in Stormtrooper disguises. We're still with C-3PO, R2-D2, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. You better get used to seeing Obi-Wan, we're not going to see him much longer. So we're just going to destroy this place up, smash this place. It's a Death Star, it's okay to smash it, the Death Star's the enemy's stronghold. Oh, those things are worth a lot of money, you can use a force on them and- Ooh, holy crap, look how much money we just got. Look, we just got a few studs and look how, how much percentage. Of so we need the force here to build a TIE fighter out of that thing. And we can use our lightsaber. I'll be playing as Obi-Wan for x This is going to be the last time we're going to be seeing Obi-Wan, the greatest character in this game, possibly. And uh, so you have to use this. This is the first time that we have to use disguises. So you have to have that Stormtrooper helmet come down on one of us. So then we could use the disguise. You can see here's so Obi-Wan the link. Obi-Wan's a Stormtrooper. So we get in and then they slaughter their enemies. You see they slaughter the Imperial forces in here. And uh, then hitting other stuff too that will get us some money, some studs, some cash. Cause you know what they say, you can't make the scene if you don't have the green. So now c 3 po got kind of beat up in there as you can see, but if you're gonna open up that door, and in there is a mini kit. That's great, it's good we get paid in mini kits. Well, mini kits actually can get you a lot of studs if you get all ten of them, but it's impossible to get all ten of them in story mode. So I have to build this computer system we have here. I'm pretty sure it runs on Windows ME, which may explain all the flaws the Empire has. <laughs> so anyways, you build that, collect the studs, and then... Destroy more stuff. The floors are really shiny. Look, it's so shiny you can see your reflection in them. Man, they must those mouse droids they have must really polish these floors very well. I'm impressed. I wish my house had floors like that. Nah, my house has floors like that. And kind of my house doesn't have any floors at all. I just magically float around in an abyss somewhere in some cloud. <laughs> I live in the cloud, like what a lot of other people do, you see. Okay, so R2-D2 finds that Princess Leia is there, and Obi-Wan's gonna run off and get the... and run off to turn off the tractor beams so we could escape from the Death Star. And while he's gonna do that, we're gonna go and rescue the princess while the old man's gonna get us out of here. I see it sounds like a good... I say it sounds like a good rescue. I'm still back, we're playing as Luke, as you can see here. Luke Skywalker in the Stormtrooper disguise, and Obi-Wan's running through the halls of the Death Star, trying to run past. He's being a boss, and he's running past the Stormtrooper defenses they have there, and all this other Imperial stuff they have there, all the Imperial crap they have lying around here. So we have to collect this and studs. I have to run in here and see if there's something back there. Because here's more enemies, I have to shoot and destroy that wall. So, and this Judo. So like I said, it's okay for you to smash them. Here's the Empire's place. They deserve it. They had it coming. If, if I could steal some TIE fighters, if I, if I could find Darth Vader's TIE fighter, Darth Vader's TIE fighter is probably parked in here somewhere. I could probably find it and steal it and go on a joyride with it through space. That'd be fun. I'd love to go on a joyride in Darth Vader's TIE fighter. You actually could, but you could fly Darth Vader's TIE fighter. Some TIE fighter like it in the game Star Wars. Star Wars TIE fighter. Yeah, I remember Star Wars games. TIE fighter simulator. I played on... It's actually made for Windows 95, but it actually works on Windows XP. It trains to play it. It requires a joystick to be played, too, which is kind of strange. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. In fact, it's a simulator game, but it doesn't rely on the controller much, too. You have to use a keyboard controller to play it. So it's kind of weird, though. I think you see right there. Obi-Wan's helpless, being missing against the Stormtroopers. So you have to go and pick off the Stormtroopers for Obi-Wan. Let's do Obi-Wan a favor. So Obi-Wan could do us a favor then after. He's gonna use the Force, take those Lego pieces over there, and he's gonna build us a bridge. And over there are the controls for the Death Star tractor beam. He's gonna just turn them off to... That cool sound. The fully power outages sounded like that in real 
height, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be scared of power outages as much as they make cool sounds like that. I mean, look what they don't. So they make scary sounds that make you have nightmares and possibly wet the bed. If you're a bed wetter, that is. I haven't wet the bed since I was four years old. Was it five years old? No, 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 I wasn't four or five. I was six years old. Sorry, when I last went to bed, okay? So, anyways, you run, we storm through this corridor here, these darkened corridors. And so, we collect more of our studs, our favorite studs, and there's storm yeah, stormtroopers are everywhere. I wonder how much money it costs to pay all these stormtroopers to guard the area around here. There's something piece of force on. And I'm, I mean, it's probably a good job. I mean, being a stormtrooper, it's a government job. You probably get paid a lot of money for it. And you probably get a lot of benefits, too. But what good is that when you're not around to use them? Han Solo said that in this movie, and I guess that's what he means by that. Because a lot of the stormtroopers in this are going to get killed off by us, so... You know, I guess it kind of makes sense that Stormtroopers would get killed off by us. Who else did they get killed off of? Chuck Norris. Think Chuck and Rick are really going to get Chuck Norris to come and fight off all these Stormtroopers? Considering how annoying they are in the next level of this game, considering how, many, how abundant they are in the next level of this game, so it would make sense if we, it would be awesome if we could get Chuck Norris to help us fight off the Stormtroopers. You know, the Empire would quit right now if they knew Chuck Norris worked for the Rebel Alliance. <laughs> I remember a friend of mine came up with a story that Master Chief from Halo would be working for would be working for the Rebel Alliance if he was a character in Star Wars. And you have to fight the evil empire. We always have a true Jedi, as you can see. They were very close. We actually are gonna get it this time around. Most levels in this game we will get true Jedi in story mode. There'll only be will be a few where we won't, because some levels in this game are downright impossible to get in story mode on the first time without the use of any extras or aids or guides. So still the stormtrooper disguise on from earlier, so we can walk past the stormtroopers and they're not gonna attack us at all. And look, we can walk in here and yep, stormtroopers are everywhere. But now they're gonna know that it's us, so we're gonna go rogue on them and kill them all off. An imperial author. I'm trying because when you get shot once, you lose your disguise. I don't want to go and get my disguise again, so I'm gonna try and not get hit with the stormtroopers. Just gonna run through, shoot down their computers, shoot down. Oh, I think we got all of them. Oh, that's good. So shoot down their computers and make sure no one knows. Because you know, it's good to smash computers that contain malicious data on them. Police often look for malicious computers that have malicious data on them. I remember one time when they raided a daycare center in real life, I remember seeing them walk away from it holding on to a computer that looks exactly like my Dell Dimension 9150 I have from 2006. Man, it's kind of eerie knowing that, knowing that, 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 you know, that child predators use computers, the same kind of computers you use. It's kind of a disturbing thought knowing the bad guys use stuff, the same stuff we use. But again, bad guys are people too. Most people don't think of it, but bad guys are people too. They have wants, they have needs, they have desires. You know, good bad guys want bad guys like a lot of stuff. They like a lot of the same stuff we have. That's part of what makes them bad guys. They have a different perspective on life. But of course, these guys are probably, those Imperial guys are probably just doing this because they got paid to do this. And of course, as I just said earlier, what good is out? They're just gonna get shot and killed. Well, look at that. They even have a bath to a bath in here, like a sauna bath in here. It's fun to have, walk in the sauna. And the double score zone, too. That's something they seem to add in this game. That's why they have those beach troopers. It's called beach troopers. Those are those storm troopers that wear, that wear speedos and then you have, ew, I don't want to think about that with storm troopers and speedos. So look, they didn't attack us once, but I have the disguise on. And they don't know that I'm bad. So they didn't do anything to us. And look at that, we're just about a true Jedi. Oh look, there it is, we got it. The true Jedi story. It's much easier to get in this level. That's why I thought you won the battle levels in the new theory. See, there's a prison hall now, or the prison complex. There's a prison detention center. We're gonna shoot down all those, destroy the cameras too, so they can't catch where we're going to. I think you got, I'm not sure if you get any money for destroying the cameras, I don't think. No, you don't get any money. Still got you to do it though, so we'll reduce the amount of stormtroopers that come in after you. So yeah, we destroyed those things. Oh, and look, if you go up these elevators here too, there's a cool little mini game. Well, not really a mini game, but you can take control of that turret there. You can shoot at the TIE fighters flying by. See, there'll be some TIE fighters flying by. You destroy 10 of them, you get a mini kit, and it's possible to do it in story mode. So why not? I'm gonna show you guys how me getting a mini kit here in story mode. I shoot like gun down some zeros, I mean TIE fighters, so we could shoot them down. You know, I, I mean, I heard of a guy in real life once, he was a World War II vet, I think, and he shot down Lancasters by accident. But of course, they didn't put that up on his resume, they didn't want people to think he was a villain. But that's, but then they put him, but they probably put these TIE fighters are thinking that someone, some one in the Death Star went pogues and shooting down the TIE fighters. But really, it's a bunch of rebels controlling the turret there, so shooting down all the TIEs. TIE Fighter, it's T-I-E, it stands for Twin Eye Engine. 
I know that from playing those X-Wing versus TIE Fighters. Oh look, we didn't get a mini kit, but we got a lot of money. Yeah, that's good. It's good to, to score big and win a lot of money, win a lot of cash. Okay, so there's a lot of characters you could buy in this game too. You could use in pre-play mode, which is again very fun. It's very fun to buy all those characters and use them in pre-play. There are a lot of useless characters though in this game. They're mostly all droids. And then there's some, and there's like, um, and then there's Jabba's right hand man. He's a useless character. So there's some other stuff that could be hiding in some of these prison cells as well too. So let's go looking for all the prison cells. I know Princess Leia isn't in any of these, but I like going and looking for these anyways. There's studs in them, valuable studs in here. So, the, and of course, Imperial troops are going to be coming after us. You can punch them in the face and knock them out. It would be cooler if it could actually say pow, wham, or so. Oh, look at that. Some prisoner died. They looked in there so long and came skeleton. <laughs> you find it said pow, wham, and stuff like that as you as you hit the enemies. That'd be a lot more fun. Like in 60s Batman, getting a bunch of blows to the face. Yeah, this hall, this biz, this probably isn't the most luxurious. This is a lot more luxurious than a lot of other prisons. Only Guantanamo Bay looked like this. And now, here's the princess. There, we saved the princess. And she's gonna be all bragging and all bratty and being like, What? What do you mean you don't have an escape plan? What? Give, give me the gun then. Give me the gun then. You don't have an escape plan? What are you talking about? She's gonna shoot down the, ha the, the shaft that goes down into the garbage disposal center. Chewbacca's want to go on there because it smells like crap, and then, and then Tom so takes the takes the bone both there. I wonder what kind of garbage they have, and the Empire has in that thing. I don't know. So we got the super, I got the true Jedi story, and we got you know through the level. So we're gonna get two gold bricks for this. We unlocked two new characters, and now we're going to get our gold brick, as you can see here. Mini kit. I yeah, didn't really get much mini kits. Just two mini kits. That's not much. Six out of 99, seven out of 99, yeah. Just like the Power Stars in Mario 64. This is Ray Phoenix, signing out.